Hey folks, Big Woodsman here. Today we're going to try to get our tractor unstuck. We got a little too close to a new excavation for our barn foundation and we sunk one side. So stay tuned, let's see what we can get out of. So here is our tractor. I've buried it nicely. It doesn't look that bad from the back, but as you can see the front tire is almost gone. So yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a pull on our hands to get this guy out, but we'll get it. You'll see some of the tools that we're about to use right shortly. So here's our tractor. You can see we sunk one side pretty deep. I've dug out behind the rear wheel and I've got a nice cable pulley system. So let me explain this uh, cable pulley system for you. So what we have set up here right now is a flying W. It's a four to one reduction on uh, pulleys, using pulleys for pull force. So we have the first end of our cable, it's attached solidly to the end of the tractor. And then it comes down through our pulley, back up to the tractor, which has a secondary pulley, back down to our double pulley that we have set up on our anchor point and then back up to another separate pulley, which gives us our four to one ratio. If you look at the cables, the cables basically spell out a W, that's how it gets its name. We're gonna be using a four to one is what this is set up for. So we're gonna be pulling a quarter of what the weight of this tractor is. So if we're looking at this as a thousand pounds is what it's gonna to take to pull force, then on our pull cable on this end, we're looking at pulling 250 pounds. A heck of a lot less than just a straight drag. My cousin at Great Outdoors, he says this is going to work, so we're going to put it to the test. So let's see what happens. Well, there you have it, folks. We tried the four to one ratio with the flying W. We could not get a solid anchor point. I went back 150 feet to a solid tree with cable. That cable kept snapping. We broke it three times. We couldn't get that to work. So I ended up going back about 90 to 100 feet to my truck and ended up pulling it with, thankfully, I've got 100 feet of chain. So we ended up pulling it. We got it out, thankfully. We're not going to be going back in there until things dry up, but uh, you know, these things happen. As soon as you spin the wheels, down they go. Wise man once said that, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So remember, it's life out there in the woods. I'll see you out there in it.